out. So so it'd be uh, that's why I like to have the capo on so I can get these. Of course you could do it without the capo there. And also I'm being really careful so I don't have a lot of strings ringing out. I can play it really sloppy and have like... <laughs> buzzing but keep it from ringing out which I, I tend to do a lot like and just screw up things and like that it gets buzzy and stuff and I'm like uh oh that it didn't sound very good so that other part <laughs> choppy and uh, and um, muted that's what I'm hearing in it you know see like the pick I've got very little pick coming out there I, I always have my thumb behind it and I'm I'm always scraping the bottom of my nail, or the, that nail right there on top of it. Like, I have a lot of um, control that so that I can mute the strings a little bit if I need. Okay, so, so, so that's, you've got the timing down. You, you did really well on the timing and figuring out like every little part. So, so now just work on the, uh, the strumming so that it's, it's one of those things that's like, it's like, how can you tell like uh, a guitar player uh, really has been playing a long time if they're just playing some rhythm part, you know, or a bass player. And you can just tell, you can tell like, because they have dynamic in their playing, this finesse that that play that that you can hear in that, and it's just like it could be a simple part, but when you listen to like a uh, somebody is a Nashville player, you're like, yeah, they know what they're doing, man. That that's that sounds simple, but it's not. My goal was always to be able to be as good as I could be at the real simple stuff, because I'm not really good at the complex stuff. So I'm like, well. Okay, so make sure that that sounds really nice and on top. 